hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to the fully QD channel so today we are going to talk about this maxi gas if you ask me i don't like that maxi gas that maxi gas cooker is not good at all so don't buy it but before you conclude on not buying it i'm going to tell you some things about this maxi cooking gas and the reason for this video is because someone actually sent me a message i made a video about how to use maxi cooking gas and i got tons of messages thanking me that okay thank you we appreciate you but one particular person said did they should use this cooker that all the buttons ripped off and i wonder how they did like how did this happen like it baffles me kind of so i decided that i'm going to make video about it like don't buy maxi cooking gas if you know you cannot tolerate all this i've been using it close to two years now and there is no complaint about it but if you are the type that cannot because i'm going to be inserting some videos in this video now if you are not the type that cannot withstand this rust that you are seeing at this side, please don't buy maxi cooking gas. Even I myself, I don't like that the paint, maybe I don't know why, maybe it's the paint is peeling off. Me too, I don't like it. So if you are the type that doesn't like it, you too don't buy maxi cooking gas. And if you know that you cannot maintain the stainless steel, the cleaning and all that, don't buy maxi cooking gas. And another thing is, all these cookers, most of them, especially the ones in Nigeria, they don't come with timer. If you know because of timer, you cannot use the gas. Don't buy maxi cooking gas because it has no timer and it has no preheat, all those preheat, it doesn't have it. And this side, the more you cook, because there is wear and tear in everything you use so i don't see how you expect a gas that you've been using for over a year or two years not to get rust so i've been using for this one i think it's going to two years now i've been using it close to two years now and look at the side if you know you are the, and the reason for this is because when i bought it i was not the one using it though it was in my house we all use it like i'm not the one maintaining it like i have my mom i have my siblings with me so i expect them to take care of it every day of which they did not and because of the kind of kitchen i have then the gas was inserted in a space so when the water goes down out of it there is no how they can clean it so i understand that that's the reason why the side was rusted like that kind of but now that everything is open here now i can always clean it by myself you know clean it immediately i finish using it and all that because like it can take up to like a day two days even sometimes three days before the cleaning but right now immediately i'm finishing my stuff this is it look at this drag as dirty as it is all i use it to do is to remove things from the fire like and meeting to remove food from the fire so immediately i'm done cooking I just soak it with water and use it to clean up the gas. That's the major work to clean up the gas and to, to carry things hot pots from the uh, cooker. So that's the work of this. So if you know you are the type that doesn't want it to get rust, I expect you to have something like this to be cleaning it every now and then immediately you finish cooking so that the water don't stay on it and it got rust and there's no way you cook rice and the water will not come out so once the water comes out it will come on it so it will get rust and another thing is let me see all the buttons are working perfectly nothing is wrong with the button i've baked in this oven i've you know grilled it's not grilled i didn't grill suya i was given some suya and it stayed like three days and i had to rewarm it in the oven and nothing happened and i bake 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 in the oven and all the buttons were still intact so i don't know where the person now see that um the button you know came out and all that another problem i have with this gas cooker is 
cockroaches all those tiny tiny cockroaches lives in the oven but once the immediately you put on the light in the oven all of them run outside and you see them here and there i think they see it as a hiding space so i'm going to show you if you open it like this you see all the side that are you know you can see the the sign of the cockroaches and all of that but you can always clean it so those are the places where those cockroaches lives but one thing about the gas is it has been serving me for almost two years now and there is no complaint but because the person said it's not a good gas it's not this it's not that so i have to bring it forth to you guys to let you guys understand that if you know you cannot withstand all these things i've brought down like cleaning it every now and then like the side rust and the base i think the base they the button they put on the base is it's so small that it's more or less like you know you are putting it on the floor so if you don't want something like that you can get it based on your own for it so that is another thing you can do but in my own case in my initial apartment it was standing on the platform but right now it's just on the tiles that's when i noticed that this thing is more or less like standing on the floor on its own but it's not really on the floor 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 like that so with all that i've said i am here to to convince you and not to confuse you that maxi puka if you know that you cannot maintain all this don't buy but this guys has served me well for almost two years with no complaint no complaint whatsoever aside from the fact that he's getting rust by the side and i understand that it is wear and tear because something cannot serve you for over two years and you still expect it to be the same as new as it was so that's the reason for making this video so th for those of you that want to buy maxi cooking gas if you know that you cannot this rusting thing you can always stand it don't buy it but for me will i still buy it again of course i will i will still buy it again and again and again and again yeah because i know that if i'm the one that i've been maintaining it from the initial stage it might not have gotten to this rusty rusty path like that because i'm the, i'm the type of person that is thorough with my cleaning i want everything i have to be shiny like shiny so i think it's time to call it a day and quit talking so if you find this video helpful if you want to go and buy a magazine cooking gas and you think with this few point of mine i've been able to convince you to buy go ahead and do so you will enjoy it but if you think with all i've said you are confused please don't buy it buy another product i just wish that magazine cooker company will pay me for doing these adverts anyways that's it for today's video so thank you for watching if you find this tip helpful, kindly like, share, and subscribe. You know all those good stuff. Kindly do it in this video. So, with that being said, I'll see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I want to hear your opinion. If you have been using this gas, tell me your whole story too. Um, all years, I really want to hear from you. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.